Hey guys, so I thought I shared this video. I saw John Skinner's flounder fishing video. I mean, he's an expert level, <laughs> like a professor level video. So um, yeah, go watch that video about the how, how fishing in the dark or deep water for flounder or other fish um, based on type of jig, I guess chrome jig is all about. So that kind of reminded me of, of what else can you do, right? And uh, it reminded me of what I bought when I used to live and work in Japan and Korea. Uh, so this I bought in Korea. So you probably can't find it here. If you ever visit Japan and Korea, they have a lot of these uh, different type of uh, soft bait, jerk, jerk shad. So this is a jerk shad. And what it is, is it came with this. Um, glow stick so if you're korean if you have army buddies or something someone in korea make sure you reach out to them ask them to buy for you i bought this through g market unfortunately you could buy stuff from g market it's a korean ebay amazon type of store but you, unfortunately you can't i don't think they ship it here um but what bas this basically is i'm not going to use this i'm going to use this for fishing uh, when i go flounder fishing next or sea bass fishing basically what this does is i would have a rig like this for with um i would usually do a direct uh drop shot but you would basically rig this up just like any uh fishing right and so you have this rig just like that and if it goes in deep again like John what John Skinner was talking about it's it's gonna be dark and you can't see it there's some little shiny um, speckles in here and it's clear so if there's light you could see it but if it's completely dark you the fish won't be able to see it right right what um, John Skinner was talking about when he's fishing so of course, in Asia, they come up with all kinds of lure. And what they came up with, basically, was a chem light, a mini chem light, like this, right? No, oh, shit. Like this. That lasts for about 12 hours. So for 12 hours of fishing, unless it gets chewed up, you could reuse it. Break it, and just like that. It's going to get brighter and brighter. You shake it. Um, so if you're fishing really deep in a deep sea fishing or even at night for I guess squid fishing and all kinds you get this is pretty smart I don't know why they don't make it make a grub or other um, fluorescent or clear transparent lure by Berkeley or whoever to do this um, do you, they keep a hollow I guess you can make this at home you could you just all you just need to do is buy one of these um little mini what what this is for this is for for night fishing or surf fishing where you put this on the tip so if you do catch fish you could see this um mini chem light going up and down just like with the with the bell that jiggles rings um but you could stick this right here into this uh cavity right here just like that and goes in all the way deep and now you got this fish in the dark, deep in the ocean, and look at that. You got this fishing, this chem light going back and forth, and it shows the shadow, somewhat of a shadow of this fish. And, and it kind of shows the sparkle of the, the, the body, as well as these little um, speckle um, party whatever those things that you throw in there <laughs> i don't know what it's called but yeah the, his video john skinner video kind of reminded me of this that i haven't used since korea um when i was in korea i did catch their flounder and um but i didn't use a lot of it uh, because the water water wasn't that deep and and most of the time when i went fishing it was clear so with fishing in the stateside where 
you know, the captain tends to go much deeper and much darker in the ocean. I could definitely use this. Um, look at that. Again, when it's dark, uh, when it's drifting, this is going to go up and down. And the fish will probably see from the bottom, from the side. Look at this. Right? From the bottom, a flounder could see this going up and down and up and down from the top of fish casitas, right? And this lasts for um, quite a while. I think I bought, this comes with two chem lights. I bought this for like a dollar. I'm pretty sure you could find this on Amazon or eBay. And I think she could get any of these fish. I, I mean, here, for instance, this is a trigger X. Um, made by Rapala. Again, this is a great fish. So you get this silver thing and you create a cavi uh, cavity, stick it in the cavity in the middle or something like that. And even if this gets torn up by sea bass or other fish, all you gotta do, you're not gonna lose the whole body most of the time. So you're just gonna push this out, just like that, and put it in another, another, um, Plastic really like this. But yeah, I think this is a great idea and I'm glad the video gave me ideas to pull this out. And I, I'm glad I stocked up on this. Um, I got plenty of it and I'll be using this and I'll be filming uh, some fishing videos and I'll show you what the result was, whether or not I got some bites out of this one, especially if they're if their captain takes us somewhere deeper in the ocean. Thanks for watching and subscribe.